Hey guys, this is Ralph with Global Jet Club and Banana Hobby. Today I'm going to be installing the AG63 gyro assisted brake on the MiG-17 here. Um, it requires five connections. Your retract and your steering actually get connected to the brake gyro and then everything else gets connected to the receiver. I made my own labels for simplicity and I'm going to show you how everything gets connected. There is two servo connections for steering, two servo connections for retracts, which I call gear, and one for the brakes. Okay guys, I got my gyro assisted brake and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the retract channel uh, from the retracts into here and then the steering servo from the, from the nose into this one. Uh, basically, it says turning servo. This is what your steering servo connects to. You unplug it from your receiver, plug it in here, and then you're gonna connect the other one, the other lead down here into there. The retract servo, or uh, your retract channel, whatever retract controller, the retract controller, you unplug it from the receiver, you plug it into here, and then you're gonna plug it up to the receiver. These are the three leads that go to the receiver on this side. So in this case, I have my brake, this is my current brake valve in here, the electronic brake, that's gonna be removed. And this is my retract valve. So let me go ahead and remove those. Um, all right guys, there is a right and a br and left brake channels. So you have to make sure you connect the left wheel and the right wheel in the according uh, spot in there, the correct spot, because that's how it's gonna help you brake independently. If, if it's going to the left, it's gonna apply brakes, um, let go of the brakes on the left and apply more on the right. And th this is crucial in order for you to get the connection or the plane to steer correctly. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the receiver here. And this is my current brake controller. So I'm gonna follow that controller to lead to the receiver. And I'm gonna plug the old brake valve in there. So I remove the brake. The other cable that it's in there for brake is power, so I'll, I'll leave that for later on. So now that I unplugged the old brake system, I'm going to go ahead and connect the new one in there. And you have three servo leads that go to your receiver. One is for gear. It basically says gear in. This is wherever your retract channel is connected to. The brake gyro needs to know when the gear are up and when our gear are down. When the gear is up, it disables the the steering function so you're not trying to move the steering or the actual uh, nose wheel when the uh, wheels are up the second one is the brakes and then obviously the third one is your the turning or steering servo so let me go ahead and start connecting in first um the brakes i'm gonna connect the new brake controller to the uh old, older channel where i had the other one the previous one and that's channel 10 on mine right here In uh, my current one, the next cable, the next cable I'm going to remove is the gear. Basically, this is your retract channel. So I'm going to remove the retract channel from the actual receiver now and plug it, plug it in, plug in the cable that's coming out of the the brake gyro. So that is channel nine over here and my receiver. Unplug that one and plug it into here. Now, since so this was the gear or retract channel, that retract channel gets connected to the actual brake gyro. So you're gonna find in, there's a steering servo and then there's the retract servo. So the, the retract that I am removed from the receiver, I'm gonna plug into the gyro now. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the steering from the actual receiver. Channel four is my actual steering servo, and uh, this is what my nose wheel is on. So that one is actually gonna get connected to the brake gyro again, and that is where it says turning in. Uh, on mine, I, I relabel them, you know, st steering. Uh, the turning in servo is what it calls it on the gyro. So once again, I have the retract valve connected to the gyro. I have the steering connected to the gyro and then the three leads coming out 
One is brakes, one is the retract, and the other one is actually the steering servo. So now that I remove the steering servo and connect it to the gyro, I get the, the steering lead from this gyro and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to the receiver now. So let me remove my servo tray here and unplug the power to the old brake controller and uh, plug it into this one and then I'll go ahead and continue. Okay guys, the gyro assisted brakes have now been installed on the MiG-17. It can be mounted one of many ways. This is, you know, I guess this is forward since the label is up. It can be mounted backwards. It can be mounted upside down. It can be mounted up, standing up. What, either one of six ways. The main thing is that it has to be uh, secured. So once you're in the air, it does not move. Um, it cannot be at an angle though. It has to be flat. Um, it, like I said, it has to be flat, not on an angle, not like a 45 de degree angle or anything like that. It has to be either flat, uh, it could be facing, like I said, standing up, sideways, upside down, in many, uh, many ways. Um, I moved this gyro from another airplane into this one. So most likely it'll already be programmed. I'm gonna go ahead and um, try to reprogram it. Basically what happens is when you first turn it on and the first two the, is not programmed yet, the blue and the red lights are gonna be flashing. Uh, you see that flashing when you first turn it on, it, um, it'll stay like that if it's not programmed. If it's already programmed, it'll just stay to a solid blue line. Let me go ahead and power it up and then I'll put the camera to it. So there is the flashing lights, uh, you saw they're there briefly. It'll stay like that if you haven't programmed it. Right now, this one, uh, like I said, I moved it from another airplane just for this uh, video. So it has a solid blue line, so that means it's just waiting. Uh, when it's in the waiting and you apply the brakes, the red light's gonna come on. So there's the brakes, no brakes. And then to see that it's actually working, you'll see that when I push the airplane, if you look at the wheel, the wheel is actually turning when I make the airplane go sideways. So, how do you program this? I'm going to go ahead and uh, unplug the cables again, and I'll show you. This one's already programmed. While the blue and the red and the blue and the red light would be flashing, alternate, alternating like it was earlier. But if you already have it programmed, and um, or you haven't programmed it, and you need to program it again, it's very simple. Um, you as soon as you plug in the batteries the blue and red light are just going to be flashing and then you hold the left rudder rudder all the way on the left and then you turn on the brakes on and off five to ten times and then the red light and the blue light should stay on solid so let me go ahead and unplug it and reprogram this one real quick so there's the light flashing i'm going to go ahead and program it you hold full left rudder and then you turn the brake lights, you turn your brake valve on and off five to ten times. So, and if you saw the lights there blinking back and forth when they stood there uh, blinking on their own, that means it got reprogrammed. And then now you can test it. Again, uh, if you move the airplane, make it like if it was skidding to one side, you'll see the nose wheel turning. And, um, you know, make sure your steering is going the right way still. Another thing to notice is uh, you see that the wheel, once you let, let go of the steering, it comes back very slowly. That is normal. That is the way the gyro assisted brake operates with the nose wheel. You let it go and then it goes back and adjusts uh, slowly. Uh, again, there it is, the blue light. That means it's just ready and waiting. If you apply the brakes, the light will go on. Um, to recap, when you're installing the, the brake gyro or the gyro assisted brake, um, two of your connections, the steering and the retracts get connected to here, to the gyro assisted brake, and then all three of the other leads go to your receiver. It'll be the retract, the, the steering servo, and your brake servo, or brake controller, excuse me.